glad to be back again with another episode of the review show where we look at the various performances of the schools at the different stages of the competition. Now before the country recorded its first COVID-19 case, we were very fortunate to organize all the regional qualifiers of the 2020 edition of the NSFQ. And on today's episode, we'll be looking at the performances of the schools from the newly created Western North region, as well as the Western region. My panelists for today's show are Mr. Samuel Ajo, Associate Client Service Director of Primetime, and Mr. Fifi Ho, Quizmaster, Western North and Western Regions. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. So let me begin with you, Mr. Ajo. Can you tell us, what, what was the general, what was your general overview of the qualifiers in the Western North and Western Regions? Well, um, thank you very much for having me on the program once again. It was, it was quite an interesting um, spectacle to behold at the Western North and Western Regions um, regional qualifiers this year. Expectations were quite high, especially from the Western North region being the first time they are entering into the National Science and Maths quiz. And so looking at their performance or looking at the schools from those parts of the region in the past years, they don't really feature so well at the national championship. It's mainly schools from the Western region. Who does? And so they did well to, to put, on, put up their best performance, even though the scores were not too impressive. But then Generally, it was quite an impressive and exciting uh, spectacle in the Western region, Western North regions. All right, Mr. Hope, let me come to you. You have been a quiz master okay. for, on, the, on the NSMQ, especially at the regional levels, for, for quite some time now. So um, I want to find out from you, yes. what has your experience been so far being a quiz master? Uh, thank you very much for, for having me too. Um, I think as a quiz master, we've seen... Uh, a number of contestants and the abilities that they can display. Over the period, you can pick out a few people who you would say um, would have impressed you. Um, as a teacher, there is a certain level of expectation from students. And so anybody who is able to meet that expectation, I would say uh, would have done very well. As, as somebody who is also trying to help others pull through, I'll say that um, there are skills in answering um, questions and some students have been able to master that skill and are able to put themselves together to deliver. Sometimes you come across very good students who are not able to deliver and it tells you there's a problem with either the person who is coaching them at all there's a problem with the time they started the rehearsal or practice or training, if I may put it that way. And so it's been, it's been a good experience. And I think that um, I've also learned um, a lot as far as helping students to improve on their scores is concerned. Okay. So can you tell us what your impressions were about the regional qualifiers this year in the Western North and Western regions? Western North and Western region, the traditional Western region that we have known up to um, quite recently, hasn't lived up to expectation too well. Apart from one or two schools that uh, I would say stood out, um, the rest were a little bit ordinary for my liking. I wouldn't want to compare Western and Western North to any other region, but um, if I look at the two together, I would, I would single out perhaps uh, Vijay and uh, Iziama as well as um, Portis for, for, for good performance. On, on the whole, um, Vijay scored about 40 and then uh, Portis also scored about 46. And I think that that is um, good enough for, 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 for that region to come through. It's 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 a bit it's a bit on the lower side. If you look at the eight contest and the fact that um, you could only hit um, forty six and forty just twice, that that is just um, the other side of it. Yeah. Okay. Ms. Asha, let me come to you. What are your thoughts on the performance of the schools in this region? Okay. Um, like Mr. Hope said, um, when you look at the schools from the Western North. Um, their performance weren't too impressive. Um, you can understand, um, considering the fact that when they were part of the traditional Western region, um, they normally don't get uh, that, that um, 
or they normally don't feature at the national championship. You hardly find those schools from that part of the region fishing at the national championship during um, the traditional Western region area. But then, having have the situation where they have been carved out of the Western traditional Western region to be for them to be on their own, you could see that they were quite elated, they were quite excited that for the first time they are going to have rep reps from that part of them to represent the region at the national championship. The, sc the scores for the schools that qualify, for instance, BISHS. Uh, who made to score 25 points and the Bibiani SHCS who also scored 21 points weren't too impressive when you compare that scores to even some of the contests at the western region and so for them well perhaps that might be the platform for them to build upon it and then hopefully subsequent years they can improve and get better but for the western region well like Mr. Hope said I was um, impressed with um, Portis I mean having scored 46 but unfortunately Fijai scored 31 instead of um, the 40 it was insane who beat them to score 40 points so fijai and um, um insane and then portes made 46 uh, that uh, then insane made 40. i was quite impressed with takwa takwa last year scored i think 14 points but they came back strongly this year uh, even though they, they scored only 35 but they came back strongly this year to win their contest with 35 points which is quite good when you look at the other contests, you could also see that there are some schools who would always make it to the finals or the national championship. The St. Mary's Boys, Hunterman Girls, and then perhaps Bompe. Um, their scores weren't also that impressive. So apart from Portis and then the Insign, who made 40, 40, 40 points, all the others were below the 40 points. And so it wasn't too, in as much as they were hoping to excel or to do better, it wasn't too an impressive uh, performance from the schools. And, Western region as well. And Mr. Hope, I'm coming back again to you. Um, as, as, a, as a quiz master, um, were you satisfied with, the, with how the students answered their questions? Not at all. Not at all. Um, some, some, some students practically didn't know what to say. And, and you, you can even um, look at the scoring and realize that um, at the end of round four, some people had uh, minus one, others had um, one. I can see three somewhere. And, and it tells you that throughout the contest, um, they couldn't say much. So if you compare those who did well to those who didn't do well, quite quite um, a few were able to express themselves um, well. You will not have a student or a contestant who, who delivers um, on point for all the four subjects. Some of them will do very well when it comes to their calculations. Others will do well when it comes to explaining of concept and i think it is a bit about concept explanation and and how to bring out the answers from the true or false statement the true or false statements come in a package and you will have to really understand what is being talked about to be able to answer that question so if your concept is not good and your analysis is also not on point you always be found wanting that i think um, people really struggle. If you look at the marks between for round three, on almost all uh, contests, you realize that um, people really struggle in that um, round. All right. Um, so if I can ask you, which contest were you most impressed with? Um, most impressed? Most impressed as, as, a, as the quiz master, I would pick out the... Insign, Fijai, Isyama category. I think that's about the fourth contest or the third contest for the Western group. Um, up until the third round, it was still 31-31 for Insign and Fijai. And th that proved um, quite competitive. It was Insign's ability to pick um, three um, riddles that actually brought the separation. Another close contest, in terms of scores, you'd say they were quite low, was um, the second contest where we had uh, Bibiani, uh, Minsara, and the uh, others. Again, in round, at the end of round three, we were having 15 for Bibiani, 18 and 18 for Minsara, and then Sevilla. So that, that showed that, uh, but even, even Asawinso had 15 at that point. And it could have gone either way. It could have gone either way. So you look at it and realize that um, it was King 
So I would say that that contest, as, as, as a quiz master, looking at what the competition is bringing out of students, I would say that contest was equally um, exciting. Apart from that, most of them had um, a straight um, passage and you didn't see the competition really come out too well. Let's hope that when they get to the national, they would have a stiffer opposition and that would bring the steel out of them. Right, right. Mr. Ajo, let me ask you, what, what contest were you most impressed with? All right, so just like Mr. Hope said, um, the Insign and then the Fijai contest was quite, there was one of the, the main one that was quite, um, I was very impressed with. So was the one for the second contest for the Western North region, that's between Bibiani and Zerura, so Suryoshu SHS and then uh, Asawinso SHS. So those were the two contests that, that I would say stood out in both regions. Then perhaps I could say that the last contest, or the sixth contest for the Western, Western region, where we had Bompe SHS, who um, for some time I hadn't been, haven't been able to make it to the national championship. And, with, and then against Otmo being a fan, who won for the first time, to call, um, they qualified for the first time last year. It was quite close at, as at the third round, 23-18. Um, uh, but then um, Bompe, I would say, uh, used that experience to win with 23, 26 to 21. So those are the, the three contests that I would say stood out for me. So looking at the scores from the various regions, how do you think these schools will, will fare at the national championships? I would, I would say that um, perhaps Porter girls, Archbishop Porter girls, would do well. And Insign would try their best. Um, at this point, I, I didn't really know how much um, the three seeded schools, that um, Tadisco, St. John's, and then GSTS, what performance they could put up. Because we haven't really seen them. But for the, the qualifiers for both regions, I would say I'll pick out Porter girls especially, and perhaps Insign. By dint of luck, then they could they could qualify. How about you, Mr. Ho? Which um, how do you think these these um, schools will fare at the national championships? Um, uh, unfortunately, they, they may not um, be able to do um, a lot as would have expected them to do. I, I'm hesitant to prophesy do, but um, you see, the round two has become. The determinants to a very large extent, the round two. So, so if somebody is able to perform very well in round two, it puts um, him or her mouse ahead. And when I look at what came from um, Western and Western North, in a particular contest, I think the Bibiani one, for instance, the winner who had 21 at the end lost three points in round two. It tells you that um, the, 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 the way they can actually come out when there is even a stiffer competition could be worse. Others made some positives. Um, apart from Portis, that made 11. I cannot see anybody else um, coming out too well. Portis made 11. And if you compare Portis 11 in round two to the other schools who were there with Portis, um, Seco dropped by one, Shama dropped by three, Dabuasi dropped by one, um, German also didn't make any point at all. So if your opponents are not really performing and you still cannot drive home the points, then when you come to the finals and you meet people who are ready to strangle uh, your neck for points, you may not hold your feet together. That is where I think that um, the Western schools may suffer a bit. Okay, so what, what, what message or what words of encouragement would you give to these schools in the Western North and Western regions, based on what you've just said? Um, I, I, I think they, they will have to work a little more, in fact, a lot more, I should say. They will have to work a lot more on their speed and also their ability to bring out um, their, their explanations very well. The, the speed bit doesn't come overnight. I mean, it has to be over and over. So let's hope that um, they will also encounter others, perhaps, who would have um, similar abilities and then be able to do well. That is what I can say. Mr. Uh, do you agree with Mr. Hope about Yes, I, I do. I certainly do. Um, by and large, they will need um, that kind of exposure. 
in terms of having to compete or have, uh, engage in trial contests or matches with other schools if it's permissible. And that alone will help, to, uh, will help them to, to test their speed, especially based on the discussion on round two as against other schools, which can help them improve. And so the onus lies on them to be able to put in a lot more to be able to, uh, to do well, thereby also giving the, the contestants that exposure for them to have that confidence, which is very key in it. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Hope, for making time to join us for this discussion. We'll, we'll be sure to call you again when we need very insightful information for the review show. Thank you oh, so thank much. Thank you. And Mr. Ajo, as always, thank you very much for making time to join us again in the studio. Thank you. My name is Abigail Sarah Thank you for joining us in this episode. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>